As many Iowans are returning home from the holiday time off and some visited their families against the CDC's warning, you might have some questions about getting tested and quarantining. So joining us now to answer your questions is Nola Agner Davis uh, with the Polk County Health Department. Nola, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me on. So if someone was traveling and they met up with people outside of their immediate household, uh, should, should they quarantine now and for how long? So according to the White House task force, they put out information yesterday that said, assume everyone if you traveled has COVID. So I think what we should really do is think about if you traveled outside of your immediate bubble, you should probably go into quarantine. And that means going into quarantine for 14 days. Okay. And what about a COVID test? Should everybody be getting one now that they've come home? Well, Ian, that's a good question. So really, if you are uh, having signs and symptoms of COVID, you need to be getting tested. So signs and symptoms, having a fever, having a cough, having a runny nose, having a headache, body fatigues. Um, if you have those symptoms, call your healthcare provider to see if they think you should be getting tested. Okay. And what about the entire household? If we have kids and we traveled with them, you know, a lot of kids are online learning now, but some are not. So should mm -hmm. everybody quarantine or how do you decide who stays home, who doesn't? So I think the biggest thing is, again, if you have traveled outside of your immediate bubble, you're putting yourself at risk. And so that's always the time where you want to be quarantining because, again, we don't know if we have been exposed or not. We don't know if we have symptoms or if we are asymptomatic. So the best thing is to, again, quarantine for that 14 days to make sure that you do not have COVID-19. Um, and, you know, the CDC warned Americans, asked, begged, whatever you might call it, uh, not to travel over Thanksgiving, not to be with mm -hmm. people outside of our household, not to going, to going to even small gatherings of people. Millions of Americans did it. We know that. What are you expecting in Polk County to uh, come out of, of these decisions that people made? Every time we see a holiday in Polk County, we see a surge of cases. So this is Labor Day, 4th of July, Memorial Day, uh, Halloween, we always see a surge of cases. So we are very, you know, we're predicting that we'll be able to see a surge in cases. And that's really hard right now for us because our hospitals are still full. We are still seeing lots of positive cases. And this is just a surge that we cannot have right now. All right. Well, Nola, not the news we wanted to hear, but thank you so much for sharing your time with us. We, we do appreciate it. Thank you for having me on. Appreciate it all.